Now, welcome back to Stormworks Basics. This is the remote control tutorial part two. And so, in the last tutorial, we uh, made a remote control here for the crane. If we activate the crane and I press, for example, the D key, you notice I can move the crane right. The problem is when I let go of it, it recenters. Now, unfortunately, we cannot configure the remote control like we can a seat. So, let me show you how you can uh, configure a seat. And why, frankly, I wish the devs would set up the remote control so that you can operate it like a seat. We can't, so we have to do it ourselves. So, for example, if you click on a seat and we go to AD, which is what's controlling our yaw on the remote control, you'll notice it has an option to go from reset to sticky. Sticky keeps your position. Reset automatically resets it. Well, we're, we're on reset. And so we need to fake it. Uh, we need to essentially configure a microcontroller to essentially do what that seat option does with our remote because we can't uh, do it manually. So let's go ahead in the microcontroller. So right now we have a reset crane. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to make it sticky. So I'm just going to give myself a little space here. So uh, first thing we do is let's go ahead and put a dial here and let's observe the behavior. And by observing the behavior, we can kind of come up with a plan of how to change this. So let's go ahead and we're going to take the yaw and connect it to this dial. And now let's go ahead and let's look at the remote control or let's look at the dial as we uh, move the crane left right. So I'm going to move it left right and you see how the dial moves and it resets. All right so what we want to come up with is we want to come up with if it's over a certain number we want it to we want the crane to um, start to move. The issue is we could make it so that you have to go all the way to one to start. Um, what I'll probably do is make it a high number like this so it has a little bit of a delay. So let's see if I can't look at it while I'm doing this. So right here, let's see. Let's make it if it's greater than, oh, I don't know, 0.8. It will move one direction. If it's greater than 0.8 the other way, it will move the other direction. So let's work on that. So let's go ahead and go in here. And so the reason we're doing that is can't set the sensitivity like we can on the seat. So we have to kind of do it ourselves. So let's go ahead and do an up-down counter. And so first is our increment. If we left our increment as, as 1, as soon as we press the button at all, the crane is going to go fully one direction. So we don't want that. We want it to kind of go slow. So let's start 0.01. And if we want it faster, we can increase this number. If we want it slow to move slower, we can decrease that number. Resets, uh, zero. We're not going to um, use reset. Clamp, we're going to enable that. You don't always have to, but this allows us to put the max range, or whatever range we want. And so we can set, do we want the crane not to go all the way to the right or left? So in our case, we're going to let it go all the way left, all the way right. So we'll enable it, negative one, positive one. And we'll connect this to the crane yaw. Next thing we want to do is we need to be able to configure how we increase the number and how we decrease the number. So we, we did our test there, and it looked like if it was greater than 0.8 or less than 0.8, that was where we wanted to be. So what we're going to do is do a greater than, and we'll do a less than. Okay. And so what we'll do here is if this number is greater than, uh, and we'll put our number, so remember, we looked at 0.8 was a good number, 0.8. That goes right there. And then this one here will go to up. Next, we'll take this number. We'll go to less than. If that is less than now on this one, we want to make it negative 0.8. So that was, we took that from the dial. And that just shows me about where it has the sensitivity one. Now we want to make sure we go that to the down on the down counter. So this is going to read the number we do. Uh, what we visually represent with a dial, if it if it gets over 0 0.8, it's going to say, hey, I want the crane to move. It's going to start increasing this value, and it's going to hold its position. Same thing for this. If it goes below 0 0.8, it's going to decrease the position, move the crane in the opposite direction. So let's update that. All right. So we should be connected here. We should be all good to go. So let's spawn. Oh. Left the remote control in my hands. So let's grab a new one. All right, so now let's go ahead and click it. And we get a little bit of delay for the crane, but as you can see, it moves. Now, we're going to have to live with this delay. Uh, there are some ways we could probably do it, but um, we're going to get some lag in this anyway because we can't change the sensitivity of the remote control, unfortunately. 
So it takes me a second to press it, but it will, will eventually respond. The reason I set it up to 0.8, a nice high number, is I want this crane to stop. So let's say you're moving something. It will take it a second to move. As you can see, now it's moving. But when I let go of it, it stops almost instantly. We want it to stop instantly because we don't want, let's say you're moving a container and you want it to stop where you want it so that it's not throwing the container around. We don't really care that it takes us a second to get it started. I'm pressing D, I've been holding D. So let me, I'll uh, press a button and I'll tell you how long I've been holding. So I'm gonna press A, one, two, three. And now it responds. So yes, it's it's taken us a while to respond, but I just let go of it and it stopped instantly. And so that's how we want to set this. So this allows me to move the crane. Now the crane's probably moving too fast. You see how it's swinging the weight. Let's uh, change the speed. So again, if we want to increase or decrease the speed of the crane, we go to our up down counter where it says 0.01. Let's make it one tenth the speed. All right. So now it's one-tenth the speed, so this crane should move a lot slower now. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead. We'll press the A button. Now it responds. Now you see how it's nice and slow. And the benefit with this is when I let go, it stops. It's going to take us a little bit of time. It has some lag. There it goes. When I let go of it, it stops. All right, so this is not ideal because we have that delay, but this is better than having a delay on the stop. We want it to stop right away. It's not a big deal if it uh, has some delay when we want to start it. All right, so there will be a delay in this, but now as you see, our crane's moving nice and slow. Again, if we wanted, let's say we wanted to double that speed. All right, let's say that's too slow for us now, but the other um, the other speed was too fast. Well, now all we have to do is let's go in here. Um, let's let's uh, make that five times as fast. Remember, we're now one tenth the speed we used to be. We used to be at 0 0.01. Well, let's go 0 0.005. All right, and let's see the speed now. So that's how you configure your speed is like that. So let's go ahead and grab the control. And again, we're going to have that delay. I'm pressing the A key. And now you see it's moving faster. So that's how you change your speed. Now, we can do this for all the other ones pretty simply. So let's say we want our uh, crane pitch. We want that to be the same as this. All I have to do is go like this, Control C, Control V, put that in there. I actually grabbed, um, don't need this. Let's go ahead and take this here. And we can line that up. And we can hook that to pitch. Hook this here. And now we have control the same for the pitch. So let's update that. Let's go ahead and spawn it. Keep grabbing extra controllers. All right, now let's move the, the pitch. So WS. I'm pressing W. There is a delay. But again, when I let go of it, it uh, sticks. So that's how you make this sticky. Uh, the delay, there are some more complicated ways we could fix that delay, but I think especially uh, beginning, the delay isn't a big deal. Um, you can you could deal with a delay for starting the movement, but you don't want a delay for stopping the movement. All right, so that's just a quick um, remote control tutorial of how to make your remote control sticky. All right, thank you for watching.